In today's gospel, Jesus is asked a question that is so relevant for us today. It is a question about whether it is legal and lawful and right to divorce. In the Old Testament, at the time of Jesus, a person was allowed to divorce. Jesus, however, is very clear that when a person makes a commitment, he or she must stick to that commitment for the rest of one's life. It is so easy for us to change our commitments when we don't get along with each other, when we find some fault in the other, when we are able to find that the other person doesn't live up to my expectations, then I want to get out. I want to let the person go and I want to go myself. In some cases, as in the case of unchastity, which Jesus mentions, it is possible to work towards what we call a reconciliation and to separate amiably. But in most cases, divorce is not the answer. If a person is being beaten in the marriage, if a person is being abused in the marriage, it is obvious the person cannot stay and must see help and work towards some sort of compromise which can be made. But today, unfortunately, it is so easy for people to divorce each other, to separate from each other and not to care about how the other person thinks and feels. And sadly, the sufferers in divorce are most often the children. The children are confused. They do not know whom to turn to. They do not know who the father and mother is. They do not know what love means and they grow up not loving and not being loved. They are not taught to love. And so it is difficult for them to love in return. They have not been shown what love means tangibly. It is difficult for them to show love in return. Often the children go astray. Often the children do not grow up as they ought to. And they are the worst sufferers. Every one of us has got a commitment in life. My own commitment is to be a priest forever. Do I have challenges as a priest? Surely I do. Is life difficult sometimes as a priest? Yes, it is. But because I have challenges, because life is difficult, it doesn't mean that I will give up the priesthood. Do some priests give up the priesthood? Of course they do. Do some married couples divorce? Of course they do. But the larger majority stick to that commitment. The larger majority stick to that commitment which they have made before God and before neighbor. Just like I have made my commitment to God to remain his priest for the rest of my life. Even though I am faced with challenges, even though I am faced with difficulties, I will not give up. Will I be true to the commitment I have made today? Will I be faithful to what I have committed myself to? Will I keep on keeping on, never giving in, never giving 